Well, just hours ago, hundreds marched throughout at downtown Atlanta as day two of protests continued across the country. Protesters of all ages, all backgrounds, all asking for one thing, abortion to be made legal once and for all. So let's go to Brittany Klein-Peter now, who was down at the Capitol speaking with protesters. And Brittany, what were you able to see and hear down there tonight? So the crowd was made up of families with young children. There was political activists, couples, men and women of all race and ages, and they all had different personal stories of why they were out there, but all one shared message. Stand up like that! Stand up like that! I fundamentally believe that it's the woman's right and not the government to make decisions about her body. I'm a young woman, and I believe that I have rights, and they shouldn't be taken away from me. Frustration, outrage, and hope for resolve. Leaders to know that we're angry and we need them to do their jobs. That's what protesters said they were feeling as they marched through downtown Atlanta. Over and over again saying they don't believe the Supreme Court's decision is the end. We're going to do it in a civil matter, but our voices are going to be heard. Some who gathered saying they had never protested before, but this issue was too important to people they love to stay quiet. My grandma, she protested at the NDC for Roe v. Wade, like when that all happened, she was there. And I figure it's my time now. Me being a person of color and coming from a family of beautiful black women and just it, it's so important because without women that I wouldn't be here. Marchers asking for leaders to listen, for the public to vote and for everyone to do their part to create change. Abortion rights are human rights and if we're not out here supporting humans then what are we doing? And I hope a lot of people see this, see why we're out here and change their minds. Members of the Proud Boys, a radical organization known for being far right, were also at the Capitol tonight, standing across from those protesters. They told me that they weren't on either side of the issue, but that they were only out there to make sure everyone was safe. Brittany, it looked like there were so many people out there, but what about law enforcement? Was there any law enforcement presence while you were there? Yeah, so we did see dozens of Atlanta Police Department officers with the motorcycle unit down there. There were also Capitol Police and deputies with the Fulton County Sheriff's Office on hand blocking off that street during the protest. Thank you so much for covering that for us. And as always, stay with 11 Alive for the latest on the landmark abortion ruling. You can also stay connected by using the 11 Alive app. If you don't have it, just go ahead, download it tonight. You'll get news alerts sent right to your phone.